In northwestern Saskatchewan, Robert McCollum knows these waters, this land, and their history. Nice day for a canoe. Now he's training to be a certified guide for tourists. His home community of Waterhen Lake Cree Nation just purchased this eco lodge inside Meadow Lake Provincial Park. Being able to uh, let other people see how you live and maybe be able to even teach them something. Indigenous tourism is growing. Eco Lodge manager Jesse Morin has big plans to sell packages with trapping, fishing, canoeing, even sleeping in teepee lodges like this to be erected soon. People are looking for something authentic. And when you leave this place, you get, a, you get to witness the wilderness of the Boreal Forest, but you also get a better understanding of who we are as people. A recent survey of North American and European tourists found there is an appetite for Indigenous-led tourism, but only if it does not exploit the community and it does provide an authentic cultural experience. The problem? What one considers authentic is often based on stereotypes. We're not the Peter Pan type style Indians, right? Those, that, that image isn't, um, isn't who we are, but there are elements of our culture that we want to showcase, right? Our dancing. What's authentic is evolving, says this tourism coordinator. An indigenous tourism corridor around Saskatoon includes a casino and golf resort, a heritage park with bison, and now these glamping teepee lodges. And soon, guided tours explaining the history of residential schools. So it's really, really dark truths that we are going to showcase and tell those stories. In spite of all of that, look at who we are now. As for Robert McCollum, what he's offering is simple. A chance to connect with him and nature. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Greg Lake, Saskatchewan. Perfect. There we go.